It is Sunday, March 10th, 2024. I'm here at Long Beach Veterans Memorial Stadium for day three of the uh, Long Beach video trilogy for this weekend. I did uh, two days at the Long Beach uh, Lowrider Super Show on Friday and Saturday. We got our first car alarm in the morning, so you know it's Long Beach Swap Meet. Um, yeah, we're here for Long Beach High Performance Swap Meet. Uh, which we do 11 times a year. It's, it, it does happen 12 times a year, but uh, in June I always film the uh, Road King show in Burbank. So always a lot of great cars are on display and for sale, so let's go have a look. Right, I'm gonna start off in the corner like I always do. Um, I got here, I don't know, it's 7.30. It's daylight savings, day, time, Sunday, whatever you wanna call it. I never know when to get here when they change the clocks, but at least I admit it, <laughs> so. There's actually a lot of cars here, a lot, a lot more full than it usually is when I start filming. But that's great for you guys, because we'll get some more vehicles. This V8 swapped uh, S10. Like I said, if you haven't watched any of the uh, Lowrider Super Show videos, be sure to check those out. They're on the channel already. That was a fun one to shoot. block El Camino so next week I'm planning on hitting Scottsdale still for the good guys meet next Saturday then coming back currently I'm supposed to spend the day Sunday with my daughter I know there's a another little rider show in uh, Costa Mesa at the fairground somebody told me about if something happens and my daughter doesn't feel right or something I'll, I'll switch but uh, I really do. We have Disneyland passes and I've had to cancel the last few times due to rain. So I need to spend the day with my daughter that day. But you can check the tentative list, which will be in the comments section uh, at the top. Check the old lettering, the old pinstripe on this uh, bump side. Check that tentative list. It will be in the comments section pinned at the top shortly after the video posts. Let you know what I'm uh, planning on hitting in the future. The cars are definitely still rolling in here. I think it's 57. A lot of great shows, cars at the uh, show over the weekend at the uh, convention center. This guy just needs a right door, so the truck's not for sale, but he needs a right door. Help this guy out, he needs a right door. A um, couple weeks I'm planning on hitting Pleasanton good guys as well. And then over Easter weekend, I think the only thing I've found so far is a Tri-5 show at uh, the Lions Museum, which I've never filmed anything there before, so I've actually never been to the Lions Museum yet. So currently I'm planning on filming that, unless something comes up, but uh, traditionally Easter weekend is a beautiful Oldsmobile 88 convertible. Uh, currently that's uh, what I'm planning on filming that weekend. And going into April, we've got uh, the Del Mar Good Guys Meet the first weekend in April. I think it's on the 6th. Um, and then second weekend in April, we got, or, or the weekend after that, we've got uh, Pomona Swap Meet. I believe it's the 14th. It's on the tentative list, so the correct date. If, if the 14th isn't the correct date. So lots of great stuff. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Also, make sure you like the video. And if you're on a TV that involves hitting pause and then going over to the thumbs up symbol and liking it helps us out with the algorithm. And if you like to leave a comment as to what your car is, if you're on a TV, you're gonna probably have to go over to a tablet or a phone or a computer. That helps us out as well. Yeah, this is a vintage Ben sedan. I always say the algorithm has been kind of weird because YouTube is promoting their shorts because they're trying to take over for TikTok and unfortunately it's hurt the algorithm for the guys that do the long videos. So. Very nice uh, Firebird formula. Not for sale. We'll get to some of the for sale cars here probably in a little bit. In a 65 uh, two door Chevelle wagon here. This guy's a regular. Uh, 
All right, I just double check. Yeah, next Pomona is April 14th. I thought so. I'm gonna try to breeze through some of these uh, vehicles that aren't for sale, like this Dodge D100. Of course, we've seen this Bronco out here as well before. Some of the uh, bombs that are parked, unfortunately, next to a barricade, so I can't really get in front of them. This one is for sale, it's a 1940 Chevy. 30,000, there's all your info on that. So do we get some uh, vehicles that are for sale here? Fox body. Speaking of Fox bodies, I got mine entered in uh, fabulous Fords coming up here in uh, April at Irwindale. You know, some guy with the most distorted speakers I've ever heard at a car show. A 67 GTO that's for sale, but this was at her last month as well. Convertible, so it's a real one, 59,000. He's got the uh, window sticker and the uh, Pontiac Historic uh, Society documents. I remember sending off for those for a, for a 74 formula I had years ago, and they didn't have, they, unfortunately, they didn't have the window sticker information on that car. That's what she's pissed off. Oh, is that? Yeah. What a man. Here's the other side of the GTO. <laughs> Spectators today, a lot of people checking out the swap meet. I'd say more than I normally see. A C10 pickup. I will say the last two days I got 30,000 steps over the two days filming the lowrider show. So, lots of walking. That Volkswagen thing. We got a uh, Ford Courier panel for sale. 52 with a flathead. No price on it, but there's the uh, info on that one. I don't see too many Couriers anymore.
more of the uh, cars. I think they're going to have a real nice turnout today because when I started out it was 48 degrees, which isn't too bad. I'll say it's not too bad for California <laughs> for the morning this time of year. I get this 70 Chevelle wagon. 14,500, there's your uh, info on that. I believe this is her last month as well. He also has the club, so 20 special one. That's just the one with the hooks on it. It's kind of like a running joke on the channel is the club. I guess I can roll right into this uh, Plymouth Barracuda. 16,000. This was at Pomona last week as well. Yeah, but if you like cars for sale, check that video out because uh, obviously Pomona, they tend to get more cars for sale than Long Beach as it is a larger swap meet. A lot of people prefer this one because it's smaller and it's a lot easier to get through than Pomona. And we got our second car alarm of the morning. Now for sale, they're very clean 66 Chevelle convertible. AC car too. Malibu with the uh, Super Sport hood. It has the key. Of course, it's got the uh, Super Sport buckets and console. A 66 Pontiac Bonneville. It's only seen for sale for a little while. 25,000. It does need uh, a little bit of restoration. It would be like an older, much older restoration. Chevy, check out that uh, inline six. So this is some good years for eight thousand. The info on that. Very patinaed. It's like he painted something on the side. It's got a little crunchiness down there. So I think the whole point to this one is to leave the patina though. This guy painted his uh, blue license plate white. That seems to, like it's going backwards to me, but <laughs> that's my opinion. Most people go the other way. They take the white plates and they paint them blue or black. Body. This one's a cutlass, but he's kind of going for the uh, Grand National vibes. So the uh, vintage Schwinn bicycles. I still have a, a 56 Western Flyer bike that's similar to these. And they do ride it on occasion. They are quite heavy and made out of solid steel. If 
you're used to a modern bike, they, they, they will surprise you how heavy they are. A beautiful 63. Super Sport. Sixty-four. I don't know. I was uh, younger growing up. There was an old lady used to have a '64 two-door Super Sport Impala in the beige color. I don't know what ever happened. To her. This was like in the Culver City area, and she was like the original owner. You know, we got a uh, Chevy G Series van, the Bonanza with the turbines. If you like the custom vans, be sure to check out the National Boogie Van Day meet video I shot a couple weeks ago. If I can get in here and show you this Ford that's for sale. It's an F-350, so one ton. I don't see a phone number on the sign. It's just to see if it's what it is. So it's a one ton. It's like a car hauler. I think we did see this at Pomona. It did have a, have a phone number filled out or oh, and everything in the Pomona video from last week. So if you are interested, check that video. Sixty-five. Yeah, this Buick Riviera. Ford Ranchero. Yeah, this Patina C20 pickup. Yeah, this Monte Carlo that's for sale. Here we saw this one last month as well. It's got the uh, accessory opera windows. Various accessory companies used to sell those, and I think they, the dealers used to install them a lot. On, I've seen them on Camaros and Firebirds and all sorts of stuff. Of course, they look a lot like the Lincoln Continental uh, windows. Get the Suburban here. Nicely patinaed. Japanese market Toyota Blizzard four-wheel drive. So it's called the Blizzard. Just the thing for driving to Dairy Queen. Uh, 48 
Chevy Fleet Line for sale, uh, very patinaed, 30,000. There's the uh, info on that. Yeah, an old Toyota. The uh, Cresida. Yeah, it's Cresida. My dad had a, one of the later Cresidas, the mid, the mid uh, 80s ones. So it looks to be like late 70s. So those cars you just don't see anymore. They have the bigger tanks. They have. Clean 54 Chevy. about the best weather we've had for a Long Beach swap meet in quite some time as we move into spring. Seven four or sedan. I used to, I used to, I, uh, my daily one, it was uh, 12 and a half miles. There's a Volkswagen square back. Camaro convertible. Custom Mercury. Got a 
a 56 Volkswagen convertible, 38,000. For info on that, it's like an pearlescent white. Clean old beetle. Convertible. Got a uh, seventy five Corvette that's for sale. Come around, I'll get you the uh, for sale sign on the other side. It's the one you're for that split rear bumper. Which is kind of a weird thing. It was like literally like a one year only thing on the uh, 70s Corvettes. There you go for 30,000. Says it has 90,000 miles and it's a one owner car. Right arm 55 with a big block. That's like a disco era vet with a little something extra in there. Swapped. Flat black Riviera. Still thinking about doing Rat City Ruckus. It's coming up in uh, April in Las Vegas. And it's also the day before Pomona, so it might be a bit of a stretch. I'm going to walk through some of the trucks that are here. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's going on? Morning. 
It's morning. <laughs> Get your truck here. See if we can squeeze it on in. Like I said, this is a fantastic turnout today for this. Not for sale, but a very, very, very clean C10 short bed step side. A uh, 96 Toyota Heiss uh, JDM van. And it's already tagged in California. That's like the hard part when you bring these things in. Got a Dodge Boogie van. It's about early 70s by the grill. So it's got the slot mags, the uh, graphics on the side. With the flares. And the ladder in the back. So we can get a better shot over here. Sweet Roadster. It's got 56 uh, Plymouth. Top option. This one's got a whole Kogan on this uh, Monty. Also has the uh, T-top option. Very rare Buick GNX. Not for sale, but uh, you don't see these very often. There's this guy uh, has brought it out here before to Long Beach. Well, they built just over 500 of these, I believe. I think at one point we looked it up, it was like 541 or something like that. Definitely a, it's not, a, not a common car. And a 67 says for sale. Just kidding. There you go. <laughs> Not for sale. Maybe you could buy it at Meekum though. Let's see. <laughs> I think the Meekum auction's going on right now too. One of them. I don't know which one. You know, because I have a Motor Trend subscription and whenever there's a Meekum auction, they don't post any other shows except for the Meekum auction. got the old club that's the one with the flat key that's like the original style <coughs> where they changed the keys that's 
68 Camaro. This guy's, uh, one of, I think that's a truck club, isn't it? <laughs> Should do like a video on the history of the club. Oh, this one is for sale. Here we go. Here in fellow, 35,000. So it's a 67 or a 68. It's the, uh, it's the Johnny Cash edition. Could be either year. It's like a 68 to me. Yeah, one of the uh, great race cars. If you go way back on the channel, one of the first car things I ever filmed was the uh, great race uh, when they were when they when they started in Riverside. I'm guessing about five or six years ago. I went out there and filmed it. I think it was on my iPhone back then. Got a, a 70 Chevelle with the monochrome look. That was popular, I think, in like the 80s and 90s to paint all the chrome. Uh, no price on it. There's the info. It does have the 427. Big block. He's got a club. Mustang. Supra. Ten eighty three short bed thirty two thousand. See for sale. This one is forty-seven thousand. Might be able to pause that and read it. Here the interior. I get a better look on this side since there's no car next to it. Ford billet rod with a blower, thirty-nine thousand five hundred. 
This was probably built in the 90s. Seventy-nine Thunderbird for twenty-two thousand five hundred. Maybe a bit of a Pomona price on this one. Over with a uh, blower. We got a Regal that uh, is apparently for sale. There's the info on that. sure that info sheet's not going to come through the ink on it's a little you don't want the front end launch is a lot better the way it is yeah yeah no no firebird 74 not for sale it just as an info sheet Challenger 446 pack car. Not for sale, but cool to look at nonetheless. He also has a club. Bring around this side. The Chevy next to it, I already filmed the guy already the guy just moved the car, so. Six Impala that is for sale. Thirty-five thousand. So it's not for sale. It was just another uh, sixty-six happens to be sitting next to the other one. K5. So it's actually a GMC Caballero. Of course, they're making for the El Camino. The beer for 20,000. I try to get the signs kind of parked really close to the car next to them. Got 71 El Camino for 14,500. For sale, no info, just a for sale sign. So, I was gonna bring in the Roadster Got a 58 Buick convertible, a K5 Blazer that's for sale. Take a good look there. Thank you. 
Very patinaed two door sedan Ford. Uh, Chevy Dual. This one's an 87 one ton with a 454. There's the info on that. With a crew cab. So it's ready to go to the jobs. The 64 Chevelle is for sale, 30,000. See info on that, 383 of the four speed. Yeah, 26.5 if uh, you bring your own wheels and tires to throw on it. Yeah, 63 Galaxy, 25,000. Info on that. The non XL. It's got the bench seat. There you go, no price on it though, but there's your info. Needs a paint job. Possibly some body work. Some good beers for 87,000 firm. Through style. I don't see those very often. Got an F 250 dent side. Price on that one. I gotta try to get in there. He's kind of parked kind of tight up on the next vehicle. Got a Porsche Speedster. Paula with a six. I don't see these with a six too often. A 54 Bel Air for sale. There's the uh, sign. That's a for sale sign. Looks like the info's on the other side. There you go. There's the info on that. Thirty-two thousand or best. It says on the sign. A square body for sale. This one's an eighty-four C10 for twenty-four thousand. Yeah, 40 Chevy that's for sale for 20,000.
Score body for sale, no info, just a phone number. Buick we saw rolling in a little bit on the earlier side. Lincoln. This one is forty thousand. There's the uh, info on it. It has a limo antenna on it. Got a '69 Impala Custom. So seventeen thousand. I still have my '69 with the sport roof. With the 427, and I need to get it out and drive it. They installed a new gas tank in it a couple weeks ago. Got an 86 Grand National for 45,000. C10, 17,500 with an LS. Got a Camaro that's for sale right here. See here, this one could be yours for 32,000. There's the info on that. It says drivetrain has 4,000 miles on it since it was rebuilt. Mercury Comet Caliente convertible 302 and this one's a 64 model for 36,000 there's the info I don't know how you can sell it for whatever comes with the box of donuts or not maybe you can work a deal Let's get some apple fritters a 69 Chevelle this one is 75,000. There's the info on that. 
Got that interior. Alright, the people are starting to leave, so I'm going to do a quick walk back, zigzag the last two lines. This took a lot longer to film than I expected today <laughs> because of the turnout. And I'll try to hit what I got, whatever's for sale. So I know a lot of guys tuned in at a 62 Impala with a 409 for 42,000. Here's your info on that. With a four speed. It's 1958 Pontiac Bonneville to a hard top. It's a gorgeous car. Custom Studebaker. Z28. We've seen this one here before. No price on it. You got a uh, Malibu Chevelle for sale. Thirty-six thousand on this one's a seventy-two. Info on that. Nice Pontiac Coupe. with no info on it. Got a uh, 60 Coupe DeVille. This would be like an older restoration maybe. You know, 32,000 on that one. Could be original paint, I'm not sure. Uh, it's very old paint. Yeah, they used to have a Sedan Deville 60 this color many years ago. Got a 37 Chevy Coupe for sale. Just says uh, make an offer on that one. I can try to try to squeeze in there. He's kind of close on that uh, 55. He was my mechanic, but he has a new garage since he's done. He's in a chair. And I went, I went, matter of fact, I went over there and drank a bottle of wine with him the other day. Seven Firebird. It's fifty six. That was a four to hard top. I got another sixty nine Chevy. Chevy 
pick up for 27,500. It's a Monte Carlo chassis. Very clean 55 Buick. Project 59 convertible. You did the body work, brother? 75,000. Yeah, we'll get you the phone number on the other side. You brought it back nothing. Yeah, it's pretty complete. Looks like they did a lot of uh, rust repairs on it. There's the number on that one. We got a 68 Impala. 18,500 on that one. Got a Willie's uh, Jeepster. It's got a 4.3 GM Chevy motor in it. Fifteen thousand. It was built by Street Rod Magazine, a forty six Chevy, thirty five thousand. The looks of everything I'd see was probably done in probably the 80s or 90s. I'm sure, there's probably magazines out there. Yeah, Plymouth for sale to 48 for 19,000. Still has, it says it has a 225 slant six in it, so not the original flathead six. It doesn't have a for sale sign, but it's a Cadillac LaSalle. Right, that's going to wrap things up for the Long Beach High Performance Swap Meet for March 2024. Uh, next week, I'm supposed to be going off to Scottsdale as of right now. I am. Got a lot of other great events coming up here on the channel. Check that tent of which will be in the comments section shortly after the video post. I've got a lot of great stuff. Make sure you're subscribed, like the video. On a TV, that means hitting pause, going over to the thumbs up symbol. Comment us what your favorite car was, what you thought was a good deal, what you thought wasn't a good deal. Uh, and until next time, I'll be seeing you.